Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., slightly injured. Um, the, the glare's probably making that hard to see. Come on, focus with me. There we go. Um, Jabba tripped me going up the concrete stairs, and uh, so I, I'm missing a chunk of nail and uh, another ugly gash, and the, the 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 wrappings make it a little bit hard to work the keyboard so uh, today is gonna be interesting that's partly why <laughs> I'm kind of happy that uh, a fair amount of what I want to do is in the creative testing and not as much in the live because I've already died once from falling because I, I couldn't hit shift and walk and I, I've tossed innumerable stuff when <laughs> I didn't mean to because uh, yeah, working the keyboard with a uh, busted finger is no fun. So, my first order of business is to try to finish working out some of the bugs in this setup here. If you remember from last time, we got it where the, the distribution of items was about right. The only problem was carpet was dropping in there. And I'm actually tempted to try something a little bit different with the corner here. But I might I might save that for a little bit later because uh, I, I really do want to make sure that I get the this part first before I start experimenting again. So let's knock knock the glass cage out. Let's uh Start uh, quick picking some items because I'm going to need orange wool, orange carpet, and the dead coral fan. Going to need the slime blocks. Uh, man, that noise really gets... Uh, that's not shift, that's the caps lock. <laughs> I, I really hope that... All I all I have to do is move this over one block. Like I deeply, deeply hope that that is legit. All I need to do is just move all this stuff over one block. Although, if uh, past this prologue, it's never that simple. But let's start with that first. Let, let's uh, let, let's. I mean, it could happen. It could be that easy for once. What? Don't. Don't, don't, don't ruin my hopes and dreams. Alright. Let's knock that out. Knock those guys out. I swear that glass breaking makes me cringe every single time. Doesn't matter how much I know, nothing bad is going to happen. All right. I don't even think I necessarily need um, two slime blocks to get this going on its way. I'm pretty sure I only need or, uh, slime blocks, honey blocks. Let's try just the one for the moment and uh, and see see what that does for me. I kind of like that that'll get me better access to that redstone too. But uh, all right, because that's all we're all we're base <sighs> not caps lock. That's gonna be uh that's gonna be never ending frustration, isn't it? That will need to be there. Let's get one of those guys. Yep. There. Let's get I'll hang on to the sea pickle because that's going to be a later thing. Uh, well, I don't know. Hopefully. All right. 
this needs to be there. And we just need to move this wall. All right. mostly keep things from spawning, but I mean, I, I don't technically need to worry too much about that. All right, let's get that there. Let's yell and fuss about, about shift and caps lock. Just, just one more time. Instead of looking that at that observer, I'm going to go ahead and do that like that, that like that. So this guy is going to see the furnace and trigger a one tick pulse, a one game tick uh, pulse, as opposed to a half tick redstone pulse. I, I do need to... I really need to sit down with Rast and plan out that uh, that series that we've been talking about doing. Um, so he'll fire, which will cause him to fire, which will power that block, which will cause him to fire, which will cause this to spit out its uh, attached set of honey blocks. Honey is only moving up against the... Uh, glazed terracotta, so nothing should stick. You can use slime blocks there too. I was just trying to figure out ways to uh, to save myself some slime hunt. Uh, although, Arcadius found a uh, slime chunk, so we might have we might have our slime problem solved. Four. Dead coral fan goes there. Carpet, carpet, carpet. And then we get to encase this in glass again. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm not in uh, survival right now. I'll leave that for now. Um, oh yeah, just to make that spawn proof. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. No, because that is going to be out. That's as far out as it's going to go. But I think I'll try to keep two blocks open so there's somewhere for the carpet to get thrown. I might not need that much space. I might only need one space, but um, we, we can check later if we need to. I, I just realized I also need, I need some way to turn this on if I ever need to. Like to, to get this rolling. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what I would need to do. Ah, one problem at a time. One problem at a time. All right. Um, that, that's not shift. Oh, yeah. I knew I forgot something. The water. That is slightly important. That still goes around as far as I need it to. That closes that up. And then let's see. Let's uh, grab us some raw copper. And let's smelt up a row of it. Oh. Um. Huh. 
I saw that guy go, that guy... Oh, 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 oh. Duh. Okay. I... I know what the problem is. I, I need some... I need... Not carpet, but a note block or something along those lines. A note block, a... Uh, A note block, a target block. Uh, something that actually has a state change when it is powered. Okay. And then the glass on top of the note block will mean that that doesn't actually sound, which is also good. Um, let's, uh... that as if it had fired, and it should retract when it's done. Alright, let's see. Is this distributing evenly? We got 13, 14, 13. We're still getting one more in that guy there. No, 15, 15. Oh, oh okay, okay. No, that, that's just with how long it's taking me to check the furnaces. Okay. I'm still probably having the problem where that's get yeah that's supposed to be getting uh, 16 <laughs> or sorry 32 and heading off and that's uh, more than 32 so there's still a little bit of a problem with this loading system here but again I'm not I'm not entirely sure that that's a problem I mean just just so long as Just so long as, uh... Alright. Just so, just so long as, um... <laughs> just so long as it gets everything. And I guess the only problem I have, then, is if there's less than 32. Like, let's, uh, let's grab half a stack. Okay. So, it's at least... Oh, that's probably it, then. Uh, because it's under there that retracts and it's still pulling down items as it starts building momentum forward. And that's why it's grabbing more than 32 in a go. Okay. I can live with that. And then I just need a button press so that way if, if uh, <laughs> for whatever reason there there's uh, uh oh. Well that's not good. Why? Why is it getting stuck? Oh, because it's, it's drifting too far over afterwards. Okay. So, maybe, uh... Oh. There we go. Alright, so I guess I do need to. To keep it from drifting too far to the right. lock when I didn't mean to. If I... I got way more stone brick than I do iron. So that would work. 
Now, here's the other question. Uh, I think I can guess the answer. I was wondering if I actually even needed the honey blocks and if I could use some wall blocks, but I suspect that, yeah, they're going to allow them to go too far the... Um, They're, they're gonna they would allow the things to go too close to the wall All right. I should get that back up oh why are you getting stuck you were doing so good a minute ago That's full. That's full. Let's, uh... That's full now. So even with uh, even with the the problems that that did run its full course, that retracted. So that's fixed. Uh, let's double check and make sure we don't have any carpet in the input side. All right. Let's see. Is there carpet? Hmm. Huh. Weird. do a smaller batch and see if we still have problems with the carpet getting stuck on the brick wall. Because uh, I can't imagine why it was, but, I mean, obviously it was. We saw it. I don't know if that was a timing thing, or, or if it's because I was messing with the wall ahead of time, or if that was leftover stuff getting stuck while I was swapping out from the wall to the, uh, to the blocks, to the honey blocks. All right, so other than the slowdown over by where the slab is partway through, it seems to be doing just fine. And that's really only a problem because the, the water won't flow that far. I'm wondering if there's a way to do the water source so that way there is water flowing under and you've got a constant push. But I may have to save that for save that for a different day because that's that's more that the carpet's clearly not getting stuck. We're clearly producing way more carpet than uh, the furnaces need to keep up as evidenced by just how much is going into the fire over there. Furnaces are still going, so that should still be on.
That's a lot of wasted carpet. I mean, I don't know what I'd do with it if it... Just to double check, we're getting our copper. 12, 12, 12. Okay. Alright, so far nothing's getting stuck. We can kind of see the carpet through the, uh... Just wanted a smidge lower. There we go. Alright, so carpet's still moving smoothly across the water, across the, uh, the intake there. And... You know what? I'm not even going to bother with the other thing I was going to check out. That, that's so not a problem right here. That's, that, that, that doesn't make any of this any simpler than it already is. So, I, I think, uh, I think this will be just fine. do have, well, you'll see the issue that I'm going to have coming up in a minute, but I think, uh, I think I just had a brilliant solution to that too, if I say so myself. <laughs> well, you know. I do. I need to go make a... Uh, uh. Alright, so this thing is going to take a fair number of slime blocks, but we got that slime chunk. We know we need four, four blocks per duplicator. And everything else can technically... Everything else can technically be honey blocks instead of slime blocks. Like, that can be honey blocks instead of slime... That can be honey instead of slime. And honestly, if I need to, that can be a double chest. Um, but it is going to have to be a double chest. Alright, let's uh, just... We're proving things. And we'll throw in uh, just, a, just a stack because we don't want it to go that long. And that triggers. Boop. And off it goes. And everything's still running because the basic idea is the honey block and the chest are one pixel short of a full block. Uh, they're, they're among a few different items that you can use to get the carpet to ride on that pixel ledge on either side of the ice and the furnace. So they're far enough over the furnace that they that the fur that the uh, furnace uh, the hopper that the hopper will pick them up if it's got room, and they're far enough over the ice that they get the momentum that happens from the ice. Although I did this example with blue ice, I may I may have to go do a little hunting for more blue ice if I plan on actually using that. But yeah, so you can use a double chest there. You can use two honey blocks there. Um, and anything else really depends on the thickness. I think, if I remember right, you could even use two cakes in a pinch. Um, although that seems like a lot, <laughs> that seems like a lot more work than it's worth. If you wanted, if you wanted to get it on the inside edge of the left turn instead of the outside edge, you could actually use three sea pickles. And that's what I was thinking about doing was moving the water stream back one and then where the chest is have three sea pickles and move it move it over um, sorry trying to make sure I actually hit the right buttons here uh, and move it so that way the water is over the ice instead of over the hoppers but I don't think that's a difference that actually makes a difference. 
So it looks like we have a working system here now that uh, we did not have before. Oh, is that? Oh no, that, that's just the texture popping up to, to match it. I don't think that changes the hitbox, but now that I see it moving, let me just double check and make sure that doesn't actually affect the hitbox. It shouldn't. But I've said that about other things, too. So let's just, uh... Let's just drop a half stack in there right now. Make sure that that goes. It's two passes. Okay. So that's still working as it should. Good. I think I will, yeah, I'm going to have to go to the desert and really hunt up some glass to make that work. Because <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a fair amount of glass. I, I really need to get um, Schematica. I think it's Schematica. That uh, basically lets you put a bounding box around a device and it tells you all, gives you the list of ingredients uh, and how much of what you need there. So you can do stuff like this in creative and then get a materials list for your overworld. So you're not sitting here like I was uh, last week going, all right, I need one, two, three, four, five, and potentially miscounting. Because when I tried to do this version of it, I ended up with more redstone dust in my inventory than what I had counted out needing. And I'm still kind of curious about that. I think think I might have made that one block closer or that one block closer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which it was, but either way it was wrong. And that's the old design anyway. We're, we're done with that. Uh, we, we got uh, we got something that works out a lot better here going here. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this does seem to be working out rather nice. Okay. So now I've got a plan that actually works. I kind of wish I could get uh, power over those last two powered rails. Hey, I wonder. Just out of curiosity. Uh, cause, is that enough to lock the hopper? I don't think it would be. Nope. <sighs> That'll certainly get it powered. Let's uh let's make sure all the all the furnaces turn on real quick. Alright. Well there we go. And now we don't have a slowdown in the middle of our system either. Okay, that works. That actually means that I could probably get away with two in the center instead of one there and one there. I, oh, uh, yes. No? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. eight and eight is sixteen, so we'll uh, pop that, pop that, get us one of those. Ow! Nope. Not close enough. Unless I do that. No. Never mind. That is, uh, that is the way it is then. Okay. All right, so that's working good. That's working good. Uh, 
that is working good and I got an idea that I can do this with uh, cheaper materials which you'll see why coming up in just a minute uh, that is not working the way I want it to but it's broken in an acceptable way as opposed to Jenny Lawson's broken in the best possible way this is merely broken in an acceptable sort of way uh, Oh, that's right. That's why I didn't make that a redstone block. Because I don't want that inter... Oh. Uh... Is that why that's not working right? Is that powered block... Inputting into there? No... Couldn't be. All right. So if that represents the hopper minecart, oh, so that's there. Oh, um, bother. That's gotta go into there. 32 items, right? Uh, that is not what I was expecting. That should only be powering when that is at 32. What if I do that? And put that in subtract mode. 31. 32. 30. Uh-huh. Okay, then. Or is that the problem? That's not enough of a power difference between the two of them to change the way that that's set up. All right, I'm going to have to do some more lookup, uh, some more research on comparators. Either way, it's broken in an acceptable way, so... Uh, Part one of today's stream accomplished, and in only half an hour. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> All right. As soon as uh, as soon as Reyes clears out or tells me where the where the three arrays are going to go, uh, now the question is: is do I want to go ahead and? Um, do I just want to make three arrays of 16? Like, uh, 16 furnaces, 16 smokers, 16 smelters? Or do the smaller versions with smokers and smelters and the big one with, uh, with, uh, the furni? That's, uh, that's a question. That's a question for the ages. All right, let's, uh, hang on. Let's switch over. Go multiplayer coffee craft. There we go. Right where I logged out. With a few items in my inventory. And a squeaky fox. Who will very shortly be renamed Silence Me. Uh, I still got to get his buddy over from the swamp. I figure I'll do that when uh, when I get the mob farm done and I can fly out to the swamp a little easier. Because <laughs> that's the other thing that I really, really, really want to finish is uh, getting getting the mob farm squared away. I'm down to my last 20 rockets and I know we're a little short on supplies. I still I'm going to need a lot of slime blocks for the sugarcane farm. Today's focus 
is creepers and other mobs. And then uh, we'll deal with the rest. Uh, wait, why am I, why am I, I do have my wings on. I'm just trying to conserve rockets. So I'll glide on over to that monstrosity. <laughs> I needed more elevation. So I got 11 floors alternating. So that way, as it goes, the floors will alternate between flooded and not flooded. And hopefully, the the not flooded ones will I get out of flying boat. There we go. Uh, the not flooded floors will be spawning creatures. And then the flooded floors will be pushing them out. They'll die in a fiery fire on top of that little 3x3 three three grid of hoppers, which is going to go into that smart dropper, which will dispense all the lovely goodies into that water stream there, which should go... And I, I've run a few items through the hopper and into the water stream which should take them into the water stream, which is going to take them up, up, up. This is the same basic design that we did in Season 1. Uh, the only difference is you'll notice only a couple floors had the trap doors because I, I want to open this up to more mobs to get more stuff. I've got the clock with a little shutoff here. Uh, I'm going to try to set it up there so that way overflow just goes into a puddle of lava and that way we shouldn't have to turn it on and off but just in case we need to I'm leaving that off switch there you know because it, ne <laughs> it never hurts to have a just in case um, and this is I'm going to I'm gonna try to build a big water chamber that should, in theory, push all the sugar cane into this hole, which will send it up into the same pipe of items going up there. I've got between that floor and here to build sugar cane farms. So I'm going to see just how big I can make this and then have all the overflow go into... Uh, into uh, fiery furnace uh depending on how big we make this though i might i might expand out the storage i do have one problem that i was not expecting this bubble column has been spawning drowned i didn't know they could spawn in a bubble column but apparently they have because I, i've had to uh run for the porcelain reading chair a couple of times and I've come back to hear the sound of drown in there. Uh, so I left myself that little murder hole. So that way I could uh, <clears throat> take care of the uninvited guests. And I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. I want this... Uh, I want to I be able to fly in here anyway. Uh, so that... Uh, that's the AFK spot right there. Uh, I want to be able to fly in here anyway, but I also want a shaft for just in case I need to do maintenance or something. And uh, now I just need to get the uh, get the get the get all the stuff squared away. The problem is I uh, I've been messing around with the height too much, and I'm debating. Okay. Uh, hmm. I, I was actually thinking of just leaving the the water pathway tall enough for the zombies to follow it along because they should get pushed along by the current anyway, and that way the zombies will also get dropped into the bucket of lava. <laughs> that that's the that's the thought anyway. Um. And now, I need to very carefully rearrange some wool. 
because I, I, I think I still have a couple of problems that I was not expecting. <sighs> yeah, there's been a lot of that, because again, uh, problems shifting. <laughs> Heck, problems making left-hand turns. Alright, uh... So... That's what I was afraid of. I, I need a row of ice. But... <laughs> hush. If I put the ice on this side which is what I thought of doing, you won't be able to open that top row of chests. If I put it on this side, you technically won't be able to read the signal out of the hoppers. Um, I mean, I could just not sort this. That is, I, I'm okay with that. But I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who would be okay with that. And so I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, so what I'm thinking is figuring out if the bent... That's air shift. Since, uh... Oh, nope, I wanted that one lower. See if I can figure out how to adjust the redstone for a normal filter. So that still happens. Uh, I need... I need to remember how this goes. Um, I mean, I only just did this on... Uh, on the skeleton farm not that far back. But I think it's because that bit of wool is in the wrong spot. Because normally there would have been the wool. No, because... Yeah, I think... I think I can even finish a uh, sentence here in a minute, just uh, recalculating. Please wait. Uh, let's grab some more of that. I'm going to need some of that. So many trapdoors. I, I, I made too many for uh, for the... Uh, I might go back and, and re redo a couple more of those floors with trapdoors to get creepers only because right now there's only two two or three floors that are set up for creeper only and I might I might change the mix so that way uh, five of the eleven are set for creeper only if that makes sense uh oh that's right. I grabbed that for a reason, because I... not fall off the uh, scaffolding there. Alright. Uh, let's get our ice extended out. And the other thing is, is I can always make the storage bigger too. And I just might do this. I just need to get the initial part of the design down and I could wrap it around in a U and set it up so that way that's nothing but sugar cane. 
and uh, you know maybe maybe one thing of zombie flesh, one thing of uh, arrows and bones, and um, I gotta go. I gotta. I wonder what else would be in there. And that's the other thing. I I, I might. I might go turn the farm on just so I can see what drops I'm going to get while I'm working on the storage. But the last thing I need is items popping up and, and causing issues while I'm working out uh, storage stuff. But before I forget, let me go ahead and get that there. That staying there like that. Just because. Yeah, we'll pop that up like that. Uh, I may even redo the floor so it's not a uh, uh, bottom slab only floor. And just so we got a little bit of lighting and all that. But that will probably come later and I will definitely leave this side bottom slabs. Uh, so that way you can access that bottom chest and just make the rest of it even with the light. All right, uh, let's go ahead and... All right, so that is the hopper I eventually want to turn off. No. That one, right? Or I could do the smart thing and just uh, glide on over this way. and double check myself. Well, and that is the other thing. I could just do a circuit of hoppers around the top instead of a water stream, and that would solve some of this trouble too, but I don't think... So I'm pulling a signal from the one above, and the torch is powering the block that that is sitting on. Okay, all right. All right, the torch is powering the block that uh, that the comparator is sitting on. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I was like, what was that? Uh, I don't know, just the... Uh... <laughs> oh, wait, I can't take a screenshot because XSplit is uh, special. I mean, no sense in not getting a little XP while we're standing here, and these guys are being oh so helpful. Arcadius uh, did a little more lighting down there, so this is running a little bit better, but um, another day I might have to record a clip that uh, that shows just how many caves are down there. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff to light up. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to light up. Hi, friend. Come on. Fix the pick. I, d I, I don't know what happened there. Don't, don't ask. I can't tell you. There we go. All right, problem solved. Let's make our way back. Yes, I know I could fly. I got the rockets, but these are my last 20 rockets. And again, see aforementioned uh, dearth of materials. Hence why this is this is a project that I want to spend a bulk of the time on. Uh, it's not, it's really not even that far of a walk when you, when you're starving. Uh, no. I need to get myself a better uh, meal source, too. Uh, baked potatoes are easy, especially once we get the smelter array going. And we've already got the bone meal-powered micro farm that keeps them jokers going. Uh, we got the villagers now, so we could also do a villager potato farm. Which will be happening anyway, because, I mean, why not? But... Uh, I really need some 
not getting lost. I, I need I need some uh, steak or pork chop or golden carrots, which we have the villagers for too, and I might just end up doing that. That is a massive sight. Uh, I'm also going to ask Arcadius to hide that. Uh, I was thinking like a little floating island. Um, I'll need to clear out the the scaffolding up from the water that I used to get the elevation I did. And if you are on top of that glow shroom, you should not have zombies or drowned rather spawning in the lake. I believe I mathed that out right. I am 90% sure <laughs> I mathed that out right. <laughs> I'm also going to need to get some more uh, packed ice for water streams. Because uh, I is running low. Alright. I'm not going through that lake because I've nearly died twice now. I had a shield. Do you, do you see the shield in my inventory? No, because some drowned with a trident broke it before I could, you know, see if he could donate a trident. He, he brought about a half dozen or so other friends with him. And uh, I do not have, I don't have my special helmet of aqua affinity or water breathing or anything like that. I got protection and mending on my noggin protector. That's it. Uh, I need to I need to start working on getting the ultimate helmet put together and a gold version. Actually, no, I'm probably going to go with gold boots and just leave another right helmet and uh, and uh, pants. I get to double check and see which which is going to impact my armor rating the least: uh, a helmet or boots. Although. I'm using the leather boots for the powdered snow over by our base, so I'm tempted to just do gold boots for uh, for that. All right. Oh, redstone torch isn't going to help that, is it? Let's uh, keep that lit up, just so that way nothing spawns on top of the trapdoor while I'm not looking. Because that would be a frustration. <laughs> That would be a frustration and a half. All right. Uh, oh, wait, why am I? This isn't where I wanted to be. I want that. Okay. So I think what I'm going to actually want is I'm going to want a carpet block there. Because that's going to be the one that actually gets locked by the by the torches. Because that's where the comparator normally would be. So all those should be locked right now. I'm going to need some more orange wool too. Yeah, a little bit of time at the spider farm and life will be good. Uh, let's go ahead and get the rest of these going. I just need them to not face down. I need them to face in a direction that they're not going to normally go. Um, this is where the comparator normally would be. This is where the comparator is going to be now. Although, I think I already begin to see where the problem's going to be. Not the least of which because I need, uh, I need more space out the backside of, uh, <laughs> of my build. Uh, where, if I were me, where would I have, there we go. No falling, no falling, no falling, no falling, no falling. <laughs> no placing the blocks in the wrong spot either. I've already had one experience with gravity. Alright, 
Uh, okay. So let me put that there for the moment, because that's still going to go there. Is there any way you could go grab me some uh, orange wool? Or am I going to have to run back and manage that? I really thought that was going to be enough. I got a bunch of orange dye over at my base if, uh, if that's the issue. Thank you. It's going to take me a moment to figure out what to do next anyway. Because I'm pretty... Oh. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Okay. Um... I need... Repeators. How many repeators do I need? And I don't think it's cobblestone. I think it's that I need to make the repeaters. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven repeaters, so that means I'm going to need twenty-two torches. Probably going to need to run back and grab more redstone, too. At least that's not that far away. Uh, I'm going to need... It still have the stairs, right? Oh, wrong direction. The water is going to come, and this is going to be pretty much like the furnace array, where the water is going to go across here. I'm going to need a double chest there to help with the direction. And I had... I had a bunch of walls somewhere. If I were me, I would have put the walls... Let's, uh, let's leave the murder hole there for now. Did I put them in there? No. Nope. There's the walls. And I'll put the extra stairs there for now, so I can lose them later. Uh, I'm not going to need that for the moment. Because as we saw with the furnace build... I can make that work all the way around, too. And as long as the square part is off the edge. Because the hitbox on that is bigger than the hitbox on that. That means I should be okay to go. I might even... Um, oh, I need that to go just a little bit further. All right, let's we'll put that there and have the next stream of water going down there and see how that ends up. I mean, I guess I could bring that out a little further. Well, that answers that question. That is definitely locked. Uh, which means I should be able to go like that. that like that hm. 
I might run out of uh, filter material too. <laughs> I mean, uh, how, how many times have people said I need more zombie flesh? No. I, I know how to get more zombie flesh. There's plenty of donors just waiting down below. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I, I mean, I totally counted that out and knew that I had more than enough to make this work. And if you believe that, I got, uh, I got some oceanfront property to sell you in Nevada. So far, so good. So, that power should wrap around and power that, which will power that. My question is, normally there would be a redstone dust there, and it would go one, two, three. Uh, what am I going to need to do? To make sure that, that works out or by keeping the the filter size small will I still be able to to make this work all right let, let's uh, let's work on this part then so that's gonna go there let's uh, let's get a proper brick here So that's going to be one block, two block. That goes around. And actually, I might just, uh, I might just let that go. Well, that'll go there. I'll put that there just to keep just to keep water from flowing off over the edge. Uh, let's get some easy water there. Oh. Well, there's a flaw in the plan. Huh. All right. I uh Doesn't that stink? Okay. Oh, and I'm still going to need to make sure that I keep access to those guys. Although, I should be able to manage that. Because I can do that. Yeah, I can work around those. That does, uh, that does leave things a little tight to work around. Uh, I might... I might just extend this out a little bit further then. I don't know what I'm going to put where, but, uh, yeah. Let, let's prepare to extend this out anyway. I don't know how much, but we'll figure it out. Oh, no, that's going to be a problem then. Because that's going to keep the zombies from, uh, from dying there. Now, I know it'll fix their little red wagon. We'll, uh... Right? Because that... Oh, the babies. The babies will be stuck in there. Ah, curse them. the water stream is not going to be enough to push them down. That slab, which is making the water stream work, is going to keep them from... Uh, oh, thank you.
Grazie. Much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I might be after some, uh, some more for that. All right, let's prepare for a nap time, and then uh, and then we'll figure things out from there. Although maybe I'll get a uh, second cup of coffee too. Hmm. Yeah, I could use a sign. I'll, although I'll probably end up using an open fence gate. Uh, thank you for that, medic. Because originally I was thinking about just uh, setting up a lava pit at head height, but. That means that only the adult zombies will get caught in there. And I've already had a couple of the little kids pop up through there. Rotten little brats. Um. So, yeah. Yeah, that would that would work. Um. If I were me, I would have put the lumber right there. Do I have enough to make two? Am I am I that lucky? Do I have enough to make two fence gates right now? Oh. I was like, I'm sure I had enough materials there. No, I'm just using my bandage finger to hit caps lock when I meant shift. Grumble, grumble, grumble. All right, so I break that. Items will still be able to pass through there. And just uh, just to test, we'll we'll go ahead and whoop, and that goes around, and it should be right there. Beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, that's going to change the geometry of that guy right there. Hmm. I was not expecting that. So that means stuff's going to get stuck on that corner. Um... There is a reason why people keep why why Il Mango and those keep saying that the uh, fence gates are better to use than signs in these cases. And I, for the life of me, I cannot remember what that reason is. And of course, if I were to put, oh, well, I could just put no, oh no, because then that's gonna that's gonna do that there. And if I put a metal bar there. There we go. There we go. The metal bar doesn't connect to the fence gate. And everything should be good from there. So, there we go. Make sure nothing else fell in there. Oh, and we get the same problem right there. There we go. All right. Uh, what is this and why does it feel like progress? All right. I'm going to want block on the back side of there.
if I just do... Oh, I didn't realize that was a whole stack of blocks. Of redstone blocks. Um, no, I think I am going to have to extend that out one more somehow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because I think... If I put even one more item in there... And then I put two more items in there. How many items am I going to need? Uh, maybe not. Maybe that will be enough. I say that now until I find out why that was a bad idea and uh, and everything breaks in a glorious way. But let, let's go ahead. Let's go with it. Let's 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 try this out. I, I think the problem is going to be making sure that. Well, no, good. grumble, grumble, grumble. I'm sure there were actual words that were supposed to go in there, but I couldn't tell you what they were. All right, let's. Uh, Let's see if that works. Oh. Matter of fact, while I work out a few other things, let's, um, do we want to just go ahead and throw the switch and see what happens? I'm very, very tempted to just throw the switch to see what happens. Well, that's usually how things happen that you didn't intend. Uh, because I only got like two... Why am I trying to precariously look around here? The this the scaffolding affords me the view that I need. Some days. Yeah, I've got one, two, three three floors that will be creeper only. And I know creepers will spawn on the other ones. Uh, yeah, I want to do more than that. So before I throw the switch and turn this on and, and end up making this even harder than it has any right to be, let's uh, hit the right button in the hotbar and go... Go grab some spruce and bone meal. I put some bone meal somewhere. Unless I ran out. I may have run out. Because I know... I know I got a stack in a bit. But I'm... Mostly certain that's not enough to do an entire floor. Mostly. This does still need a roof and all that. Let's uh, let's see if that's enough to at least do a floor. I've got a bunch of saplings. I I really, really thought I had some bone meal with me. All right, let's put those away for the moment. Let's put that away for the moment. Let's get those things away for just the moment. Um, water and ice and packed ice. And our redstone stuff. And our hoppers and walls. We'll keep the sticks just to, just to take up space. chests in there. And what I might do is plant the tree, run off and grab some bone meal, and then come back. Alright, oh. Uh, 
some scaffolding to make my way across. I can go ahead and sleep. Nah. I can work through the night on this one. It should be fine, right? Although the nice thing is that roof can technically be cut down from the from the size it is if we enclose this better. Um, although I don't know how big the floating island Arcadius is going to build needs to be. Or wants to be. Oh, whatever. I say make it big. Make it huge. Okay. So that guy has slabs, and now we're going to go ahead and make our way across here. And in case you, in case you missed the season one explainer on why this works, uh, when the game is trying to figure out if a mob can spawn in there, it checks the height. Zombies and skeletons are about as tall as a player. Actually, just a smidge taller. So they need a full two blocks in height. Uh, the player can move under here, and creepers can also move under a block and whatever fraction it is for uh, for for this this deal. So by putting trapdoors on the spawning platform, it ensures that the only thing that can spawn there are creepers. So the more floors we have this set up on, the more floors will generate nothing but creepers. At least. But I do want to make sure that we get zombie flesh to trade with the clerics and to smelt down into leather and, and all that. Uh, I would like some bones and stuff that you don't have to actually stand at the farm for. Like the farm's great if you want that stuff uh, right now. And a looting sword definitely goes a long way, but I like having multiple ways. Like uh, I kind of I like the idea of somebody being able to just stand here AFK. You know, go go make a sandwich, uh, brew some tea or something, you know, refill their coffee cup, which uh, I will definitely be doing here shortly. And, uh, and you know, and then coming back and having a bunch of stuff. Just uh, at the rate things normally go passively. Might be okay on this. And I might be okay with that. Double check and make sure I didn't miss any spots because if I did, that means you got to worry about a zombie or a skeleton spawning in there and getting stuck, which uh, would be less than helpful. Very unfamily friendly things to say about that. Oh, come on. I just I just need to put stuff down on the blocks. I just need to put stuff down on the blocks. Ow! I need two, three, four, five. Ah, I need I need more, more stuff. Oop. All right, I'll get the saplings down. least until uh, I then go run and grab bone meal.
I like spruce because you can get tons of lumber quick. I mean, I could just start clear cutting the forest, but I, 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 I don't think uh, I don't think that would go over well, even if I did replant. Although I could take some flowers and try to get some more uh, beehives. That's always an option. That is always an option. Because uh, I want to say as long as the flower is one block away from the sapling or two blocks away from the sapling. You can, uh, it has a percentage chance to generate a beehive. Of course, uh, that is only with certain trees. I want to say it's uh, birch and oak. Uh, I think the biome's got to be the right one. And there was something else. Oh, yeah, and the percentage is so small. It, you, you could spend a long time trying to get bees, bees' nests. Where's the bees' hives? I forget which one's the one you make and which one's the one that spawns naturally. Either way. I might even look into... Uh, some of the bee harvesting stuff because I, I didn't I didn't get into that last season or the season before. I really did intend to do that last season, but it just didn't uh, just didn't happen that way. So we'll see. Let's get that going. Yeah, let's just take all those. Just in case I need more lumber afterwards. I need a name for the fox, too. After I apply the uh, si silence me name tag. Oh, actually. Since I'm here somewhere safe, let me, uh, let me, let me go. Or, if I could beg Reyes to top off my coffee cup. I'd give a sad look, but uh, Jebba has made her immune to sad looks. All right, let me disentangle myself real quick. If I can find my intermission button. Okay, fresh cup of coffee has been had, and now it's time to go back to, uh, to get... <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got another video that I, I keep intending to make into an updated, uh, intermission screen, and I just, I never get around to actually putting it together. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's sitting in those project lists right along with, uh... Um, the the video that I need to cobble together with the guitar build. Uh, I did all that. I did all that work. I recorded all that stuff, the live streams and everything, and I still haven't finished the build video. That's uh, yeah. Although I don't know if there's a there's an aspiring videographer who would like to use that as an opportunity to learn how to build videos. Uh, you know, uh, uh, my DMs on Twitter are open. Oh, <laughs> seriously? Of 
course I got the small tree. Or the smallest double tree that'll uh, show up. Alright. Fine. Fine. This is fine. It'll be fine. Uh, this time a working tree farm. Well, no, at the last time the tree farm worked, it was the blast chamber that didn't work. That's what I need to do my research on, is figuring out a blast chamber that actually, you know, doesn't destroy itself. Probably something a little bit similar. Um, I was looking at a potential... A potential farm for, uh, for a potential concrete maker. That's a little more, a little more industrial than what we've used in the past. And I think I can rig it so that trees go into the same blast chamber and, uh, and basalt and maybe even cobble. Although I think just about everybody's done with cobble and we seem to have more than enough stone than, uh, we could ever hope to need. So that that might not be a that might not get added in. I mean, I would want to for completeness because well, it's me and that's how I roll. But I definitely need to get a basalt thing in there. Um, the one thing that I'm missing is soul sand, not soul uh, or soul soil. Whichever one's the newer of the two that, that got added, I, I, I'm having a short-term memory moment and forgetting which one's which. But it's the one that's that we're not using in this farm <laughs> that's a full block. And, uh, yeah. Because apparently that is the only one that will generate basalt when you have flowing lava going over it and touching blue ice. But I can rig up a simple basalt generator like I did in Season 1 and try to pipe that into the same concrete maker so that uh, so that, that we, we get the dual use out of the blast chamber. Matter of fact, uh, if I might do it in such a way that you can use it to resolve one, the one issue that I have with most of those concrete makers, which is that you you like you need 84 concrete for something. So you make up the 84 concrete powder, you go over to the machine, but you have this big buffer of stuff that's between the maker and the blast chamber. So if you want the 84 concrete, you either have to make more than you need or use something else to push it out and push it through. And so I was thinking of either a basalt or cobblestone generator to rig up into the input of the concrete maker in such a way that you could, you could use that to push the concrete the rest of the way through. And that way you didn't have to worry about making, you know, 120 concrete just to get 84. You could run your 84 concrete through there and then run basalt or cobblestone through to push it the rest of the way out. I mean, it, it's not like we don't have ways to get rid of stuff like that that we need. We, we can throw a little trash can or something over the edge, uh, which we probably should anyway, but... Uh, here is the question. Do I sleep? Do I make more trees? Although, we'll see if this is enough. Let's get up to a crafting table. And, uh, and start making some more. As soon as there's a nappy having... A nappy... A nap. 
I shouldn't say nappy. There might be somebody British wa watching and they're really confused because that's something totally different on the other side of the pond. Although with that one batch of jambalaya I made, um, hmm. What? Oh. Why? Oh, because... Uh, okay. Because bandage... Bandages getting in the way again. Because that's not the A key, that's the uh, Q key. Which is not what I wanted. Ow. Oh, of course it's raining. Excuse me while I keep griping about the the shift. Yeah, you know, let's just let's just go ahead and make all the all the trapdoors. Uh, <laughs> you never know; they could come in handy. I mean, it's not like it's not like I'm not going to need spruce trapdoors for other stuff too. I I know that I tend to use spruce trapdoors a lot. I really like the visual design, and again, spruce is really easy to get in bulk. Now I'll leave the trees in my inventory in case I need to go grow more. Same with the bone meal. Waiting for the lightning now, too. Alright, so that gives me... One floor, two floor, three, and four. And... Um, Then I'll do f five, did I say? Well, I got the trapdoors to do five. Alright. Uh, I guess I don't mind if it's on the edge. Uh, let's hope that the water doesn't push them further out than the edge. Alright, uh, so that's four. One more after this. I guess I do. I do want this to lean a little bit heavier towards creepers on the uh, on the mob spawns, since it's eleven and there's not an easy way to do half. Uh, let's then we'll do six floors. Six floors. Although 
is that going to cut in too hard on the other stuff? Although we've already we've already gone over. There's uh, okay. Just double checking. Um, because we already pointed out there there is there is already. Um, the skeleton farm for arrows and bones. So this doesn't have to be that much of it. Alright. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three. One floor, two floor, three floor, four floor, five. Yeah, and then we'll do six. <coughs> and that should be six floors should be enough. That that's a little bit. That's half halfish, half adjacent, as close to half as you can get with. Uh, <laughs> with 11 floors. And we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's not like we can't tweak it later. I mean, push comes to shove, we can always turn the farm off and, and very cautiously make our way into the innards because all those empty floors won't be empty, that's for sure. Um, and then, uh, and then do more or cut some of these down whichever whichever we happen to need but I feel like I don't no 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 okay all right is that gift okay no nope. that's right <sighs> hello rest I wonder if I wonder if Reyes just told them that uh, she's already out of cobbled deep slate. We've been. <laughs> oh, I say we. Arcadius and uh, <laughs> and medic have been. Uh, making uh, uh, long mining sessions for more and more deep slate for for that castle and I I kind of I kind of feel like I might need to give somebody a hard time about you know builds ending up bigger than expected I don't know why just I don't know a feeling so good and then since I'm gonna need all the items to filter anyway I guess I'll, I guess I will have to just turn it on and wait for stuff uh, ooh, that that might be an interesting way to go about it too just to <laughs> see how things fall in and go from there uh, yeah I think what I'm thinking about oh <laughs> oh rotate the castle yeah yeah. There is that too. Although I, I definitely have the uh, the building in the sky thing and all the issues that that causes. Although, for most of this build, there wasn't hard ground beneath me or that I needed to worry about. I'd still end up in at least in the water. Yes, I know some of those aren't facing the right way. I'm I'm okay with that. Alright, 
That that should be it. Or did they get picked up by the soul sand? Ah, it's scaffolding. It, that's not the end of the world. 34 trapdoors left over. Alright, so that's one floor, two floor, three, four, five, six. And then, uh. Let's throw the switch. Wait, no. Uh, that's that floor there. You guys are welcome to join on uh, voice chat if you'd like. I'll probably sleep again before I do anything else. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I meant to do that before I went live, too, and kind of forgot. My coffee shall sustain me. Yeah, I think what I might do is I might make this side mob drops. And... And then wrap the storage around this U here. And then put uh, put nothing but storage, same distance on the other side. That's nothing but sugar cane. Well, honestly, uh, three, four, sugar cane. Three, four. Um, Gunpowder. Zombie flesh. Bones, arrows, redstone dust, glowstone? Ah, let's see what this thing produces first. Uh, but I definitely, I definitely do want to reserve... I think I got some gunpowder already. Um, or, I'm sorry, your gunpowder is in another box. That's, <laughs> that's, not, that's not enough to do what I want. Ah, it's not like it'll be that hard to switch it later. All right. Stupid caps lock key. Um, let's... I just realized I still need to do something about this. does that side have something over it when the other one doesn't? That's two blocks high. Well, let me go let me go grab some I'll take some slabs and at least set that up so that uh, items don't go flinging up before they go out. Uh, let me grab a couple more slabs before I, uh, yeah, before I throw the switch. And then I'll leave, I'll leave the open air exposed for now and that should, uh, <clears throat> take care of any zombie problems. Well, and, ooh, that is an idea too. I could put a stop here for the zombies and just leave that area open to the open to the sky. Although the water will make sure that they don't burn. So Hmm. Oh, if I make that the zombie flesh one, I could just stop them here with with a with an appropriately placed slab and and just leave that open to the sky. Uh so that way they just burn and then 
then life becomes far less, far less complicated. Well, as less complicated as it can get. I... Hmm. I probably should have grabbed the naproxen too. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, uh, throw the switch. And then while we're doing that, we'll, uh, we'll start thinking about the sugarcane farm. I've got a couple of different thoughts. Uh, I thought about the slime block based one that, uh, that I was talking about earlier. Uh, I oh. might also remove a bunch of this ice here and instead dead have a loading unloading station in this corner here and do uh, rails on this level and then a big flying machine that'll go across one way or the other because why make it a small farm when you can make it a big farm all right. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. That's my counting tough. We'll need to finish, and then it's gonna flip, which means that all the all the ones that were flooded are not. The lights are out, and I need to be further away before stuff spawns. All right, here we go. Let's see what pops up and how quickly anything pops up. Uh, for the for the beginning, at least the the filters will just start picking up in the order it arrives, and then I can go rearrange from there once I figure out what's happening where and reorganize storage from that. going to go ahead and Oh. Well, there's a little bit of gunpowder already. No, oh, <laughs> there there's some arrows already. Uh gunpowder, bones, Nothing else yet. Wow, that... <laughs> I am going to move the gunpowder over. I, I think I am going to go with my, my other thought and put the zombie flesh there. <laughs> Alright, let me take the rotten flesh and move that here. Let me put the arrows there and the bones will stay there and the gunpowder will go there and then we'll see what else happens and fill in accordingly I'm still worried because normally this will go one dot out, two dot out, and then a third out. Oh. Well, maybe it'll be okay. Because we've already got something. Uh, <laughs> we already have enough arrows to, uh, to make it flash, right? I am technically a little bit higher than I want to be. Uh, actually, no, because I was originally going to set the AFK spot at 200, so I'm only one block higher than than I really need to be, so th th this should be fine. 
because remember the the way it works is for in a radi in a squircle radius around you 16 blocks out from from where you from inside a 16 block radius mob spawners activate uh outside a 24 block radius mob spawn randomly 32 blocks out they spawn don't move and can despawn randomly and then 128 blocks away they despawn immediately so this is set up so that way if you're standing on that glow shroom the 128 meter bubble is just above the water so that does give you a little bit of room to move around just in case and uh and go from there but we're uh oh. <laughs> wow we're already getting extra arrows oh beautiful beautiful gunpowder how do i love thee let me count the ways I'm kind of surprised we're not getting anything else. I, I would have expected a couple of witches to spawn in there too, no? Or do witches not drop anything unless they're... Or what do witches drop when they're killed by not the player? Because I know, I know we're not going to get... I know we're not going to get any string or spider eyes. Because we're, we're not killing any any spiders of any kind. So we got the zombie flesh, the arrows and bones. And I think let's go ahead and set that one up for gunpowder too. So that's one, two gunpowder. And one, two, three gunpowder. And then I might just make the rest uh, sugar cane until I can figure out where the where to uh, where the words went? Uh, <laughs> what to do with the rest? Uh, let's go ahead and put those away and put those away. Probably make more torches soon too. Yeah, I just need to. Uh, I, th I think I might just worry about the overflow and get uh get something going over here for uh, for items to fall off, and I might just move that one over. Just uh, yeah. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. And the nice thing is, I don't have to worry about making any dropper shenanigans or anything like that. And let me grab uh, a little more. Slabbage. So I can go... Put stuff on the wrong block again. Got a decent interior for uh, okay for this. Once I get things squared away, just a little bit further. All right. So that's gonna go out one more, which means that is where the lava is going to fall. something else on the bottom too.
there. Overflow solved. And I think this is, yeah, uh, we'll let this go for now. I'll, I'll probably put something under that glass to, to, or maybe I'll just put brick around instead of, instead of the glass block. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Hello, beach duck. Sorry, I, I, I missed you a minute ago. I need to get my, I need to get my lava farm set back up. Let me put that bucket there so I remember. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? That's not going to make me remember. Um, yeah. This seems to be working out all right. We're already starting to get uh, a fair number of... Oh, wow. We already got a stack of... Uh, a stack of gunpowder going there. Uh, we got those two ready to go. And then one, two, three... F yeah, because we got uh, three gunpowder. One, two, three. So we'll go... Three more sugar cane. And now I just need to figure out the, the sugar cane farm. And then maybe figure out some decoration or something so that way this doesn't look quite so, uh, the wrong kind of special. But I know, I know I want to leave a sleeping. Uh, no, I did not get the slime balls out of the central mountain area. I completely forgot about those. Uh, short term memory something something. Although I do still need to, I do still need to. Oh yeah, nope, that's not done. Because I need to make sure that um, the the zombie kiddos can uh, can get through there, or so the zombies can get through there. That's right. I, I need to go back and make this uh, big enough. Or am I going to trap them there? That's right. I was going to trap them there. All right. Get rid of? What is this get rid of of which you speak? Oh, I'm so happy. This is... Look at that. I haven't even been here that long, and we've already got a stack and a bit of gunpowder. There you go. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I need I need a roof so this is safer to AFK at. Um, and start working on that a little bit more. Let's um. Uh, Let me go grab some obsidian. No. Oh. I stalled. Uh, by the by, before I forget, um, I talked to, you know, I'm sitting here going, man, what am I going to do about the migrating the server from vanilla to fabric and all that? And I'm sitting here trying to do all the research, trying to figure stuff out. And it's like, wait a second. I'm paying Nodecroft good money. So I filed a ticket with them and they gave me the information I should need. Well, hopefully need. Hello. Uh, <laughs> they definitely answered some of the questions and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Hello. Hmm. Hello. Three. Well, that's three blocks. Wait, let me let me go get my sword o looting and uh and head on down to the abyss. No, that's not why why would why did it open that up? I was looking for Where's the ender chest? Did we not have an ender chest down here? I could have sworn we had an ender chest down here. I must not have put it down here yet. Okay. Well, I can fix that too. Let me uh 
Let me go prepare to take care of that too. Oh, I am. All right. Yeah, I think instead of instead of. Mm. Uh oh, I'm getting a sad look with a jar of pickles. I I. I somebody desperately <laughs> wants some pickles and uh i don't i don't have the grip right now because <laughs> i because uh, jubba tripped me going up the concrete stairs source I've got I got a couple of bits of ice over there and I can make one out of that uh what else what else what else what else I feel like I am forgetting something that I needed while I am over here the number of times I keep hitting the wrong button is, is really really getting special uh, let's head over to Oh, obsidian. I needed obsidian. I don't know how much. I've never I've never actually built a flying machine. I know I know how they work in theory. Um, yeah, let's just take a little better than half a stack. Cause I wanna make at least one more ender chest to put in in the uh, in the inside of the mountain. Oop, I should probably sleep. It's dangerous out there. And I can grab my sword of looting while I'm here too. I just tossed a bunch of extra junk in there. Uh, I'm going to hang on to that because I'm going to use that until it's done. And then I'm going to... I got two diamond shovels ready to start enchanting. I like to have a silk touch and a fortune shovel. Uh, same with the axe and pick. And I've got a silk touch axe and pick and a fortune axe and pick. Um, not much of a fortune, but it's a fortune. Uh, what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all the way over there and then realize that what it was I forgot, aren't I? This is why it'll be good to get this set up, so that way we'll have the rocket farm set up and, uh, I, I can make all the rockets that I need to go back and forth between, uh, places I forgot stuff. Isn't that how that's supposed to work? I think that's how that's supposed to work. Or at least that, that's how it seems to work for me. Alright. Uh, actually, since I accomplished two of my big goals, I might even just call it a stream after this. I mean, it's only 8.30, which is a little bit earlier, but uh, my finger is hurting. I have not had dinner yet. And... I should probably take the naproxen with food. So let me go make a ender chest, drop that off at the mountainside. And then I'm going to head over to the farm and park my, <laughs> park my body there. Uh, preferably under some cover. I'll definitely have to get it like a temporary slab roof or something up. Um, and then just uh, see how long it takes and see if we get anything else, too. Because, again, I was I was expecting a little bit more than 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 that. Uh, we get the zombie flesh from the zombies. They don't drop iron, carrots, or potatoes um, unless it's a player kill. Oh, that's a, that's a chunk of oak, all right. Somebody's, uh, <laughs> somebody needs oak, I guess. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, and I keep losing my train of thought. That's <laughs> usually the sign that, that whether it's early or not, I should definitely call it. Um, yeah, because the skeletons won't drop anything other than bones and arrows unless a player kills them. Uh, there are no spiders. I guess the only thing I'm, w I'm wondering about is I had, I would have expected a witch or two in there, which would have dropped gunpowder, glass bottles, and uh, something else. Oh, I should probably grab 11. Oh, I need 22. Because I'm going to put item frames on the front and the back of the filters so that way I know what's in there. Uh, okay. I should have the sticks. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I should have the sticks over there to make the item frames. If not, I can always grow some more spruce. Uh, what do we have for... Oh, okay. there are four slime balls there, but I'm not sure if that's what Rest needed for her bit. So I will, I will leave those, I will leave those alone. Uh, all right, we're about to have this problem solved, so I'll go ahead and use the rockets to speed this up. Oh, except I'm heading in the wrong direction. Because I wanted to get back... What is a bee doing all the way over? Are you the missing bee? Are you the bee that I was looking for over on the other side of the snow-covered mountain? For serious, dude. I... Uh, I... I don't... I don't even... Oh. Yeah. Oh, hi. So, uh, Saturday the server will be temporarily down while I, uh, attempt to make the switch to fabric. I'm definitely going to do a backup before I do anything. Because anytime you do... Look, backup, backup, backup. Make regular backups. Did you hear what I'm saying? Backup. Although, I, I do love somebody's Twitter, uh... Some, uh, one of the tech people I follow on Twitter had commented that they went to the dentist. And the dentist said, have you been bl brushing... And floss, have you, have you been flossing every time you brush your teeth? And he looked at her deadpan and goes, have you been packing up your photos and documents? <laughs> like, oh, uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe that's just me. Uh, oh, yeah, server's getting special. No, 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 don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Not now. Why now? I'm the only one on. Why now? Yeah, so Saturday, I'm going to attempt to do the migration to Fabric with the Lithium mod. And that should, theoretically, ostensibly, improve server performance and stop with the lags. Uh, the gentleman I spoke with from chat did mention that he also adjusted the Java Virtual Machine flags so that we should... Um, we, we should see some better stability, at least in the meantime. And made a couple other small changes. He also recommended the next plan up. But I, yeah, that, no, no. That, I, I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that for everything it is. But uh, the, the part that he's not wrong about is that... Uh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I might have to, yeah. No, I'm definitely going to have to change my ladder so it's not in the corner so I don't pick up stuff from uh, from where it's going through. Um, doggone it. I completely lost my train of thought. Again. 
Again, again. <laughs> the delay, the lag. I mean, technically, I only need the one block to keep uh, keep stuff from spawning on top of me. But, uh, oh, where's my sticks? Here's my sticks. Do I have enough? Probably not. Oh, not even close. All right, I'll have to work on that part, too. And set it up so that way we've got identification of what's going to end up where. Uh, let me just grab... What's about to become some more slabs? So I can feel just a smidgen safer about where I park myself to look at the video upload going. All right, there we go. My little safety platform, nothing should be spawning up here. This is the perfect spot to let mobs spawn. So from there, We'll pop on over to the credits. Or maybe it's my computer that's running weird. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe, maybe it is my computer that's struggling to keep up and not the server. Uh, thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. And I, we definitely do Coffee Craft every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, or at least 6.30 adjacent. Uh, I do have work before that, and so that kind of sometimes runs a little over making uh keeping a proper schedule uh difficult at times on fridays at 6 30 p.m u.s eastern or 6 30 adjacent again because work uh it's a little up for grabs right now i do plan on getting back to games revisit at some point in the very near future i also plan on doing some more guitar work probably either saturday or sunday I've got a Les Paul kit that I want to build, and then I, I'm going to keep that Les Paul kit and uh, probably sell my my Gibson Les Paul and just keep the kit build that I do. Because as much as I love a Les Paul, I'm not so enamored with a Gibson Les Paul uh, as much as I am, you know, one that I built. And then by, by then, or probably before then, we'll hear about the Great Guitar Build-Off, I think... I got some plans for that, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So let me let me see who is available for a raid, and it looks like mm. huh. Well, there's one I didn't expect. Uh, Frog Pants is a channel run by Scott Johnson. He does a lot of. He does a lot of podcasts. He does a lot of gaming podcasts uh, and other talk shows like The Morning Stream and that kind of thing. Um, so that is Frog Pants, one word. Definitely worth a follow if you haven't already. There is Grimly, G-R-I-M-L-I. -I. He's playing Lost Ark, worth a follow if you haven't already. But uh, we're, we're going to keep our good favorite Beast Lord Beast Lord J, who is playing Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, because he is an absolute mensch and well worth the follow and worth rating at every opportunity. So uh, let's go, let's go join him for Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Stick around for the raid.